Palming Core beating Fnatic, making it to Tokyo? Yes. That would be the greatest timeline ever. Durka just says no. Durka said no. Durka, we need you to troll. Durka. Durka, can you lose that match? Isaac isn't going to do anything. It's okay. Durka, Isaac are a toothless organization. Bro, wait for my Yoru. I'm practicing it in Swift play. Nice. Imagine playing Swift play. You're on an E date and you run into Durka's Yoru. That's terrifying. You're, you're there with your little Discord kitten, and you're really trying to impress them. And Durka just teleports behind you and kills you both. Yeah, and Durka just nothing personnel kid and destroys you. I'd never be able to live that down. No. I'd be moving to Roblox. Have you ever had a Discord kitten? <laughs> Chat, I was screaming. I was screaming with our team where we're trying to get to Premier. We weren't screaming. We were doing screaming. We were playing ranked at 1 a.m. We were playing ranked at 1 a.m. with some of the people. And so many Zoomers, so many Zoomers in the team that I'm completely culturally out of my depth. I don't know when it happened, but it was sometime in the last five years I have just been left behind. What was the artist that Space was showing you? Um, Pooh Shiesty. <laughs> Uh, Pooh Shiesty and Lil Burk, or oh, Lil Dirk, and man, I miss the vibe shift. I am not going to survive the vibe shift. Space, who was the first one that you linked me that was the woman that had her entire fucking everything out in the milk shop? What? Ice Spice, yes. Yeah, Space introduced me to Ice Spice, who I thought was one of the Spice Girls, but apparently is not. She's not one of the Spice Girls. No. I've never heard of this person. Yeah. I'm also out of the... I'm not related. You're out of touch. Are you a munch? Okay, I don't know what that means, and I'm sure it's not good. You know, I, I opened... that's where Munchkin, the player's name, comes from? <laughs> I opened Reddit today, and one of the top-voted things on the R Valorant subreddit was... Like the main Valorant The main Valorant subreddit, with hundreds of thousands of people, was, why is the Valorant community so weird? Why are the Zoomers so horny? And this is exactly the kind of weird conversation that they're talking about see this is why i've like become so out of touch because it's like so i had a moment where like i got invited to play with average jonas it was like him and a bunch of like content creator pe like people that i didn't know like fucking jet mommy 76 or something like the main like tiktok people like the valorant content creators not the valorant esports content creators and they were just so sexual and horny and i didn't know what was going on and i was so confused i was just sitting there like i'd try and like call a strat and then it would just be like yeah that's so hot I was, what the fuck like i just i don't relate with these people. Yeah. I have nothing in common. Sage Mummy 69 is an actual content yes, creator. Yes, no, I unironically played with Sage Mummy 69, and I think she dates Jet Daddy 69, who are two big TikTok. No, I think they broke up, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as if you know that. As if you know Did that. They break up? I don't know. That's so sad. Did they break up? Dude, as if you know that. Didn't love Lover, I don't I don't know. I might have just spread misinformation when I was talking about Sage Mommy and Jet Daddy. I don't know. I thought I read a TikTok comment about it. You should not take our co-streams as an authority on TikTok e dating. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not privy to the drama. I read a TikTok comment. I love Madgeburg, home of the Madge. Yeah, there's a place near me in the UK called Sajburg. Sajburg. <laughs> yep. That's funny. Every time me and Beth drive past it, she just says, Oh, Saj. <laughs> Hello, Sage Mummy 69. <laughs> nice to see you here. Hello, Sage Mummy. We were just having a short discussion about content creators earlier. Are you and uh, Jet Daddy 69 still engaged in a e relationship? Oh, guys, I, that's quite a personal question. You shouldn't just you shouldn't just ask that. She already answered. She says, "Hello, we did not break up." Someone asked me in my chat. Thank you for the information. Yeah, I didn't want to spread misinformation. Sorry, Bren was just lying about. I read a TikTok comment and just said it out loud, but then I realized that people were just take what I say as gospel. 